Good morning, everyone. It's another gorgeous sunny day in Helsinki. Um, it's a bit late. I've kind of been up late last night doing some work and did a little bit of work this morning. So it's about noon now. But actually, when I was doing research for places to go eat this morning, there's not much that was open really before like 10 or 11 a.m. anyways. So we are in perfect time to go scope out a local cafe and I'm gonna bring my computer, try and get a smidge more of this project I have due done. And then it's a whole day of sightseeing. Hey, so I just got back from a really delightful little kind of breakfasty nosh. I went to a cafe just to like two blocks away from here called uh, Andante, A-D-A-N-T-E. I had great reviews online. I think I maybe read about it from another blogger that came. And it's such an adorable little kind of Finnish coffee shop. They use kind of Finnish coffees and they have little snacks like um, like avocado toast, I think some yogurt parfaits. Um, they have like this yogurt granola toast, which I was intrigued by, but not intrigued enough to order it. Um, as well as some really cool like vegan gluten-free cakes and other kind of regular, bakery kind of treats. So I opted for an avocado toast um, and a cappuccino, which I am going to insert some pictures of here because I felt a little weird taking Okay, video. so now I'm actually walking backwards in my hotel room. Not weird, not weird at all. Um, but I'm gonna go meet a friend of mine for lunch. Um, I'm really happy I had a very light breakfast because um, because I've been kind of working this morning, I haven't really had any time to sightsee, but a friend of mine happens to be free now and wants to meet up, which I think will be better than tonight. I'm gonna go have some lunch, then I'm gonna go walk around for a few hours, see a few of the sights I really wanted to see. Okay, so I just got back from the most amazing brunch at a place called Penny with one of my friends here in Helsinki, and I had quite possibly the best Eggs Benedict of my life old statement, I know, but it had sausage and white asparagus with the poached egg, hollandaise sauce, and the most amazing brioche, like cake-like bread ever. I mean, I'm so full right now, but it was so worth it. I'm gonna share with you a picture of it below because I didn't want to film while we were in there. All right, so I was just at the famous rock church really cool. Um, unfortunately, I arrived as like a load of tourist group arrived, which is of course the story of my life. But um, it's beautiful inside. It's a church that's carved into a rock and it's just stunning in there with the organ and the music and it just has a very kind of calm zen feel minus all the tourists taking selfies and pictures around you, of course. But um, I'm going to pop some clips in right now so you can check it out. <laughs> Here is the incredible interior of the rock church. The church does have a name in Finnish. Here is my best approach to the Finnish. It is Tempeliakko. I apologize in advance if I'm really far off the mark. I will leave the pronunciation guide that I discovered online below. So the Rock Church, or Tempeliakko, is a Lutheran church that opened in 1969. What's really interesting is that they actually had a competition to determine who the architects would be for the church. And I actually did watch an interview with the architects on YouTube and found it really interesting to hear their process. I'll also leave that linked down below. But what was really interesting in that video is hearing the architects tell the story of going to visit the site, seeing a huge rock, and realizing that they're not going to be able to get rid of the rock, so they actually need to kind of design within it. But even though they had that approach when submitting the competition entry, they were actually afraid to really go big. And by go big, I mean the fact that when you see the church today, there's these incredible kind of rough, raw kind of rock formation walls all inside the church, which make the acoustics fantastic. And the architects weren't entirely clear that that was going to be the end result. And it actually took some convincing from a famous conduct conductor, um, Pavo Berglund, and an acoustical engineer, Mari Pario, um, to actually 
go through and actually spec out the requirements for these famous kind of wall surfaces. And that's why you actually see the church in this natural beauty that you see it in today. And as a result of this amazing architecture, the church is actually known for its acoustics and hosts many concerts in the venue. But as another fun fact, Despite the church being known for its acoustics, there actually are no church bells. So while you might hear church bells being played at other kind of famous churches around the world, this one plays a recording of church bells. So the more you know. All right, next up I'm gonna go into the silent chapel, which is behind me, which is kind of ironic given how loud and touristy and chaotic the square is that it's located off of. But yeah, let's go check it out. The Silent Chapel is also known as Kompi Chapel, and it's specifically located in a very busy area of downtown Helsinki. It's meant to be a place for anyone to go into, no matter what your religion is, and to have a peaceful moment of silence. It was constructed in 2012, actually as part of the World Design Capital Program. All right, so no pictures allowed inside the church, but it's really cool. It's all like wooden inside, like kind of like a light tan wood with concrete floors, very kind of symmetrically kind of square benches, and everyone's so quiet, and the acoustics are like crazy sensitive in there, even just kind of quietly walking across the, across the floor to sit down on a pew, you feel like you're like disrupting the whole room. So it's really cool experience and I recommend you go do it and sit in silence for a bit and just take it in. Hey guys, so that wraps my day two travel vlog on Helsinki. As you can see, I didn't get up to as much sightseeing as I wanted to because I just think that sometimes there's a wonderful serendipity that happens when you travel and a chance to go and meet up with a friend is always worth it. And I get to go to Helsinki quite a bit, so I definitely have gone back since filming this video, so there's more travel vlogs to come, but um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing a different side of Helsinki. Both of the churches that I went to visit are were on my bucket list for a long time in Helsinki, and I was so happy to get to go and experience them, as well as some lovely brunches. As usual, everything will be linked down below. If you like this video, would love it if you could hit that like button. If you want to see more travel and lifestyle vlogs and content from yours truly, hit that subscribe button. And if you've seen or done anything in Helsinki that you loved, please leave a comment down below. This channel is all about helping travelers take amazing trips. And hey, I want your advice as well too because when we can travel again, I'm definitely gonna find myself back in Helsinki and I'm always looking for more unique things to do there. So thanks again guys for tuning in and I will see you soon.